school lab. So this we talked about before. This um, you know, there's this weird thing of like the star star. So I want to I want to mention what this is about. Okay. So what we have to start off is this dog class. All right. And then we have this init function, and you can see we're passing through like the name and the breed of the dog. All right. So uh, let's pass through the dog. It's Fido. It's Dalmatian. Right. And this is Fido. And so obviously this first argument is Fido as, as the name. The second argument is the breed. And another way to do this is you can do name equals, right? And you can do the breed equals. And this is using keyword arguments. And if you use keyword arguments, just note, right, the order doesn't matter. So if I do, if I reverse these, but I'm specifying the keyword arguments, Python's still able to figure this out, all right? So kind of like an alternative to keyword arguments is uh, to splat these, like to, I forget, I forget like use quarks. So you can, um, what can you do? So you can pass through, let this, another Fido, a dictionary. Okay, so this is basically like a dictionary. Already, and the name is Fido. Right, and these are our arguments. You can call this variable whatever you want. And now, if you just pass this through directly, this is going to break, right? Because you're only providing one value here. There's no, there's no comma. Like you know, dog is expecting two arguments, meaning it, it wants to see a comma here, right? So if you just do this, that breaks. And it says, okay, we're missing one required argument, breed. So instead what you can do is you can put this star star, and that says, all right, where well, I'm going to essentially translate this into this. All right, so this is now star star, the arguments. Um, and that's going to like set the breed argument to Dalmatian and name to Fido. Okay, so if you look at another Fido now, that works. You see that? And you can do like another Fido dot uh, name, right? All this works. So th that's what's going on here, right? This star star allows you to pass through a dictionary, and each key is a is now a keyword argument. Notice, by the way, I don't have a star star here, right? This is taking a dictionary and turning it into keyword arguments. Now, what can be confusing is you can kind of go the reverse way. So this original way was take a dictionary and turn it into keyword arguments. Okay, and that's what we did here just by simply doing this star star or passing it through. So what's confusing is you can also do, uh, how would you do this? I think it's star star quarks. Let's see what this does. So you can also do dog, and let's use like name equals Bob and breed. Uh, equals a Samoyed. And look, let's take a look at what happens here. See this, this is printing out a dictionary. So this is the opposite. Here we're taking, we're taking keyword arguments and we're seeing each of those keyword arguments by putting the star star in the class. Let, let's put these side by side. So this was the first way, and this is what the lab goes through, is we just define a normal class, and then the test, it takes a dictionary, passes it through as, uh, as keyword arguments. Here, we're passing through the keyword arguments, and we're catching it as a dictionary by doing the star star over here.
All right, there's, I'll make the rest of this pretty short in terms of the lab review, because uh, I know that you probably want to play with the, that type of thing for a little bit. Here's the main point. There's like two different ideas here in this lab. One is everything with this test school relates to one school object, okay? In other words, one individual school. So when you do, like when you call any method here, you're asking a question of an individual school that is, you know, someplace in the Bronx or in Brooklyn or wherever, right? It's one school that's on a street somewhere. So when you ask school.max score, you're not asking, tell me the max, the best school. Like that doesn't make sense because this is all about one individual school, right? So what you're asking is, Okay, if there's like the reading score and the writing score and the math score and the math score is better than the rest of them, give me the best, you know, give me the top score, the score of this individual school. So when you're doing, you know, for this lab, all of these questions are about, except for maybe this one, but everything that's an instance method, right, is we're calling this method on one school object. So, you know, when you do total score, that's not asking the total score of multiple score. There, there is no multiple scores, schools, sorry, uh, with this thing. There's three different tests, I think, that are taken. And, and, you know, this is the average for this one individual score, school. This is like 355 on the math test and 404 was the average of the reading and 363 was the average of the writing test. Right? So all of these are about just one individual school. That's that's kind of the main point. And then what we say is in this, once you finish writing out methods for one school, here now this is about now this is about multiple schools, right? For each of the schools, maybe add these up, add up, pull out their score, add it up, and take the average, right? Divide by the number of schools. So there's two different kind of levels, like the first, but you work on, hey, we're just working with one individual school first. That's everything in this test school.py file. And then you write the code here in the school.py file. And then secondly is, okay, now that we've been able to build one school, build out the methods for it, right? We got that working. Now, how do we work with multiple schools and calculate you know, the uh, answer questions about a collection of schools. All right. I'll let, I'm not going to talk any more about, about this, uh, at least not for now, because I feel like it's better for you to work on it. Uh, but what I will do is if you finish that, let me deploy a couple readings for us to do the remainder of class. So feel